I've seen thousands okay. and thousands okay. and thousands okay. of deliveries. I know what can happen. I and you, you don't do. want to see that happen at, at home, and you don't want to be responsible for the death of your baby or the death of your wife. I think the passion, again, you have to understand the passion comes from, from, from Lisa. And we are it, ladies. Is, 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 we don't claim to be doctors and, and, or experts. And I think it's but... important, and, and, and I want Ricky to make a comment here. As the moderator of this discussion, <laughs> as someone whose cousin had two wonderful home births, who I think is a very intelligent woman, and made that choice after researching the options, I respect a woman's choice, and I know you do too. Yes, what is. you don't want is a misinformed choice, and you're passionate because you do run the risk with a home birth of having a complication where you can't get to help in time. So, okay, having said that, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, our, our movie was a great tool for women. And for me, personally, I had this incredible birth experience that's in the film, but also see women seeing images of women giving birth in ways they can't even imagine. A woman at home standing up, pulling her baby out. A woman in a tub, uh, in a birth center. You know, those are images that I think are really important, especially with the media painting these horror story pictures and you watch, you know, a baby story and all these scary shows that are the, you know, emergency C-section, we save the baby. I think it's really great to see a woman give birth the way she chooses to and to have this experience so that people have that picture in their head of what it could be if only they, you know, were comfortable. And so... be beautiful in the hospital. I, no, I'm not saying that. I know, I, I mean, I had a beautiful hospital birth with my first son. I'm not saying hospital or home birth is best. I am pro-choice in this area, and I want women to have access to the information. Give us a few, few words on the book. Yeah, it kind of takes it to the next level. It talks about VBACs, it talks about epidurals, it talks about all VBAC, the interventions, vaginal, uh, vaginal birth, birth after, after cesarean, which is really controversial because a lot of hospitals are no longer doing it. I think it's 200 hospitals around the country won't offer VBAC to women, which is really unfortunate when you think a lot of women are given unnecessary C-sections with their first child, thus leads them to another C-section. The book itself, it deals with, obviously, specifics. It, it very down to earth, you know? It's sort of like girlfriend language, goes through everything from sort of how to, you know, just how to envision what is your dream birth, what do you see, you know, building your birth team, how doulas. to pick your doctor, do you want a doula there, how to research, you know, your hospital, and this goes all the way through postpartum and bonding. You know, if you have to have a C-section, it talks about, you know, what are ways to have a great C-section and how can you prepare for that? And, you know, what can you talk to your doctor about doing in the OR, dimming the lights or, you know, I mean. So it also talks about one thing that has never really been talked about, I think, in a, in a book like this is, uh, you know, sexual abuse and how it, your birth can really be a healing process for someone who's been the victim of sexual abuse. And I experienced that personally. So um, it just covers a lot of ground in a very accessible way. And, um, and I'm really proud of it. I am thrilled to offer this as a tool for women to make the best choice when it comes to their birth.